Hello and uh, welcome to this edition of The Issue. My name is Victor Mwila. On this platform, we endeavor to dig deeper into the most pressing and relevant topics shaping our country today. From economic challenges to social issues, we bring you discussions, expert analysis, and diverse views to help us understand and engage with key issues that matter most. Today, we are looking at investors' banking possession and news from the Bank of Zambia BOZ regarding the financial institution. The latest on the issue is that depositors have been assured that they will not lose their money. The Bank of Zambia has announced that government will provide about one billion kwacha physical support to attend to depositors' money in order to protect the integrity of the financial sector in the country. The central bank says it will start paying out depositors at Invest Trust Bank in possession on April 26, 2024. Central Bank Governor Denny Kadiaria says the initial payments will represent 90% of all deposits from about 57,000 deposit accounts. Dr. Kadiaria further said the maximum payment to be made on each account in the first round will be about 500,000 kwacha. So today, on the issue, we bring you proceedings of the press briefing by the Bank of Zambia on Thursday, 11 April 2024. The Bank of Zambia is very much alive to the concerns of depositors on whether they will have access to their deposits and on the consequences of suddenly not having access to their deposits. This is particularly so as we all have to deal with the consequences of the recent, the current devastating drought and its impact across the economy. After taking possession of Invest Trust, which now we designate as indicated Invest Trust in possession, we engaged key stakeholders, including the government. This was critical because the very fact that Invest Trust was insolvent at the time of taking possession meant that they were not in a position to pay off all their depositors. May I now take this opportunity to assure the depositors that their deposits are safe as the government will provide support to bridge the gap between the assets and liabilities of Invest Trust in possession. I must mention that this fiscal support is critical in the context of the need to protect the integrity of the financial system and to support other key measures to promote growth and financial including the inclusion, including the recent conclusion of the debt restructuring with the Eurobond holders and the measures taken to revive the mining sector. In short, what we are saying here, having a failed institution would, if not addressed properly, create other challenges which we do not want to have given what we have been through. So this is what compelled the government to step in to provide this fiscal support. Whilst we are committed to moving as quickly as possible, I must stress that this process will take some time. We are currently working hard to have the statement of affairs prepared within six months, six weeks from now, and to have options prepared for how we will resolve invest trust in possession. So that's the assurance coming from the Bank of Zambia to depositors at Invest Trust Bank in possession. No one will lose their money. The central bank has further announced that going forward, new regulations to govern the banking sector will be introduced. Here is a statement from the BOZ Deputy Governor, Dr. Francis Chipimo. Uh, the other thing we are doing is to try and strengthen the prompt and corrective action regime. Um, and in this regard, I can add the fact that just recently was set up a new problem bank framework. Uh, which we have indicated Owen Moka here is uh, heading that division. Uh, that division also has under it the deposit protection 
uh, or deposit insurance scheme or deposit protection scheme. So we intend to set up this scheme. We're hoping we can do this by the end of the year. The idea of these schemes are really two, four, one. They allow for um, the a fund to be built up which can deal with depositors up to a certain level when an institution uh, fails. And um, in other jurisdictions, they are also can be used to deal with the wider resolution problems which may arise in financial institutions. So those are the basic uh, issues which we are, are going on. And in addition to this, uh, last year we did issue also a revision, or we have revised the corporate governance guidelines, uh, and uh, these also are aimed at strengthening um, uh, the governance of institutions. I think those are maybe yet to be, the revisions are yet to be issued. But one thing which we did issue was also the fit and proper guidelines. Again, these were revised last year to strengthen uh, the processes and the things we do as we're well vetting institutions when they come in. Well, so new rules are expected to be introduced to enhance the integrity of the financial sector. After the break, we bring you the reaction of the Bankers Association of Zambia Bars to the proceedings of the press briefing by the central bank. By the way, Invest Trust in possession has been a member of BAS for many years. Let's watch this. The issue is a program that looks at topical issues happening in the country. Watch the issue every Friday at 1930 hours, only on Zanis TV, channel 6 DTT and channel 458 DTH on Topstar. Don't miss. Welcome back as we are discussing Investments Bank in possession. We are bringing you a reaction from the Bankers Association of Zambia on the recent press briefing by the Bank of Zambia uh, uh, announcement that government will come through to, to provide physical support uh, to Invest Trust in order to ensure that the integrity of the financial sector is protected. So right now, we bring you a reaction from the Bankers Association of Zambia to that statement by the Bank of Zambia. 90% is a, an extremely good um, uh, figure or, or target, if I may put it that way. So it, it's almost like nearly the majority of all the depositors that investors will now have access to their money. Those that we are holding between the one quarter to 500,000 quarter, to still have full access to their depots. So we, we really can only thank government for uh, bringing the fiscal support to ensure that depositors walk away with their money within the shortest possible time. I mean, the, the action was made on the 2nd of April, so within April, and uh, they will now have access to their money. Once we implement the deposit insurance protection, it will, it will help to build trust and confidence that just in case I'm banking with a bank that may go down or may be repossessed, at least then I can fall back on the insurance, the protection of the depositors' funds so that the money is accessible whenever such an occurrence does happen. And we, we can avoid a scenario where instead of the insurance, I mean, falling on the insurance, we start falling on uh, national treasury as the case has been. So we hope that can be fast tracked because it's extremely important that uh, we, we continue to build confidence that in case something like that happens tomorrow or down the line, we can then fall upon the uh, deposit insurance protection. So we can only wait and look forward to uh, the, the quick pace around implementation of some of these issues like corporate governance guidelines, uh, putting in place the deposit uh, insurance protection so that we can avoid in future uh, rushing to the fiscal side of things because imagine the pain that now we transferred to government. Basically well, that's what we've done. We, that pain could have easily been covered uh, through this insurance protection for depositors. Let's recognize two things here. We were told that the deficit was 850 million and part of that deficit obviously fell into the depositor scale that uh, the depositors' funds were not safe. It was, I mean, at Jai that were not safe, given that the, the whole, in terms of capital, which needed to be plugged in, was about 850 uh, million quarters. So 
the two things that have happened, we've had fiscal support, so they've taken away one billion of the liabilities that could have been sitting with investors. Whereas the statement of affairs, as the uh, Bank of Zambia put it, will, will determine the extent to which that liability was, but uh, and whether it will, it will fit in within the one billion that has been allocated. So what's important is that that allocation for now has moved from investors to uh, the fiscal support. So happy that that has been done. So we will now hope that once the statement of affairs is prepared, it will take note of the fact that a good number of the depositors funds have already been cut out for. So they will be focusing what other assets they have to cover for the liabilities that could be there. So we hope to see a quick conclusion given the fact that the bulk of the liabilities which are depositors funds, in my understanding, they've been taken away. So they'll be looking at what assets do they have to plug into the remaining uh, liabilities. For the depositors, it's just a 10%. The bulk, 90%, will be taken away uh, beginning 26th of April. On this issue, we are discussing investors bank in possession and the news from the Bank of Zambia that government will provide about one billion kwacha to ensure that depositors do not lose their money. And we just had a reaction from the Bankers Association of Zambia. So for me and the entire production team, that's all we had for you on the issue program. My name is Victor Mwila. Until next time, it's goodbye for now.